Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. Welcome to my channel. I have 10 fun packs that are available for sale. Actually, I have nine because I always keep one for myself. Do not look at the folder being flipped upside down, but it is. And the contents of this are not in any particular order. Uh, I stack things into these folders as I go through and then when they're full, um, it's a fun pack. This folder is just a modern uh, craft paper type folder. It does have the metal prong in the front. Uh, sometimes they're fun to incorporate. You don't have to. Uh, this kit has a lot of fun things in it. Um, beautiful piece of wallpaper. I, this is so gorgeous. You can see the gold in the back. This one has kind of a silvery blue look. One was an off-white, one was gold. Um, just really beautiful. They're all just stunning. And then there is a little piece of this pretty lace. And each one has got a textile sample with the name of the color and the type printed onto the fabric. And then there is a little another sample card. This is like a tile or something. Um, what do you call this? Like countertop or something. But there's about two and a half yards of this pretty, oops, this pretty yarn on there. And then there's about two and a half yards of this pretty yarn on this little card. And then there is a piece of this fabric. I, you know, I've just really had my mind on doing the little prayer journals. And then that typewriter journal from Journey Scraps just put me over the edge as far as thinking about um, doing slow stitching and incorporating more fibers and fabrics. I think this is pretty, um, it would be pretty just to cut even little pieces or to use it for pockets or whatever. Sorry about the strings. This is where I've been cutting fabric today. Uh, there's a pretty little piece of this fabric. It's got flowers, butterflies, a little bit of writing. Each one has one of these little angels, which I think is so adorable. It would be pretty to put that on the cover or put it on a tag or just incorporate it somewhere into the journal. And then each pack has a piece of sort of a white cotton or canvas fabric. Let's see. It looks like it's about 13 by by eight something like that and then this is a really pretty card it's just a blank i think it was probably for invitations or something and then here is another card it's kind of a, a trifold and has the pretty envelope with it each one has some sort of black and white map or kind of black and brown uh, it, they're all older maps and you can see the discoloration where this one's been folded. But like even that one symbol is so pretty. Each one has a picture, a vintage picture. It might be of a lady, a woman and a child, several women standing together or a family picture. But that is out of a photo album and you can tell from the car. Uh, that looks to me to be maybe the 1940s, 50s maybe. I don't know, not quite 50s. Anyway, I'm not sure. That's really pretty. And then a few pages of, this was a stamp collector's book and it's got the really pretty matte paper. Uh, it's got different stamps. And like if, if there's an image that you don't fit, think fits with your theme, you don't have to use that at all. You could find the stamps that you really like and cut those out. Or you could use these whole pages and make book pages for your journal. Uh, I'm definitely going to be making a tiny journal with my pack. Uh, and when I say tiny, I'm talking about the prayer journal size that I make. And then, uh, let's see, each one has a vintage ad from one of the old National Geographics from the 30s or 40s, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. It's, it's 30s or 40s. I'm not sure what this one is, though. And then this was a page from a vintage book about nutrition and different foods. And then we have a few pieces of this ledger paper. And it's a pretty color, almost a minty color. And then each pack has got uh, several large pieces of wallpaper. Uh, you could just use little bits or the whole pieces to make pages or 
you know, and all this doesn't have to be used in the same project. It gives you supplies to be able to put into your stash for later projects. And I personally am going to start trying to organize a little bit better. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that more in a later video. Each one has some sort of brown envelope. It's like a craft paper or a paper bag type feel to it. They're different sizes. Some of them are a little bit larger than this one. And then each one has a few pages from a beautiful old book. Now there is some, I guess that, is that called foxing? Ooh, someone wrote in that one. Look at that beautiful writing. Ooh. I don't know how many of the pages have writing, but uh, I think it is from a pretty old book. Each one has a couple of pages from a, it was like a needlepoint pattern thing or a hook rug pattern or something. And then each one has a few pieces of this really pretty, it's a yellow, it's like a um, really creamy yellow. It's not bright, sunshiny yellow. And then each one has a piece of this vintage stationery from a physician in New York. It's got this Ashanti symbol on it. I thought it was interesting. And then each one has some of these bags. They're vintage jewelry bags. Jewelry of quality. I think there's five of the small ones, yes, and two of the large ones. And then each one has, again, I included some of these cards in the last pack, but these are just so much fun. There's one, two, there's Calamity Jane, three, four, five, six, seven. So each one is going to have seven of those cards. Each one has a vintage letter, and they're different, you know, from different time periods. They're all at least the 70s or older. And then each one has a piece of this pretty paper, kind of large. Um, it's got this perforated tab, I think, that you can tear off at the edge. It seems to be. I'm not going to tear it. This paper was from a large, like a scrapbook album. And then each one has a few pieces of just plain, nice white printing paper. It's just nice to have extra paper on hand. And then there are a few pieces of this really pretty paper. Again, it's textured. I included some of this last time. This is a classic, classic laid paper. It's probably got cotton or linen in it. And then each one has some sort of airmail envelope. They might vary. Um, and two vintage postcards. Some are black and white, some are in color. One is written on with a stamp and a postmark, and the other one will be blank. And then each one has a couple of pages from a vintage ladies' home journal. Um, it's uh, the book. It's a vintage book. It's like a it's like a treasury of different pages of Ladies Home Journal. And then each pack is going to have ten little pieces of lace that you can use for your pages or or whatever. And each one is going to have a piece of this burlap with the lace over the top. And there is a piece of this fabric with the writing on it, kind of ragged around the edge, but I thought that would be fun to include uh, in, some, in some projects. And then each one has a little tiny square of that. So really pretty items. And this, I, I, there's one of these in each file. I think this is so funny. Just file it under, who cares? So that is it for this folder. But then the fun part is that each pack is going to come with a surprise, what I call an ephemera pack. And I sell these in my shop. They're about 13 ounces. So it's going to add almost another pound to this. And I think instead of just paper in these bags that I put them in, I'm going to also put... Um, you know, it might have pieces of fabric, it might have lace, it might have uh, yarn, it might have trinkets, but it will definitely be a fun bag for each junk journal pack. So you've got all of this, which is a lot of really pretty stuff, the wallpaper, the vintage postcards. 
um, the ledger paper, the map, just a lot of really fun things. But then the ephemera pack is gonna give you like a supply pack of things to work in. And I'm looking forward to making these with maybe little bits of fabric and stuff as well. So that is that. Again, these are listed. So let me tell you how to purchase these. I will put a link in this description that says, go here to purchase. And that's gonna take you to my blog where I have a brief description of the fun pack the price and just some guidelines about the purchase, like, you know, US only. And I will have a secure PayPal button in that post and it says buy now. So when you click on that, you'll go straight into PayPal. And that's the way these are being sold. So you'll see the link in the description. Just look at the description under the video. So I'll be back soon. I'm not gonna ramble anymore. Bye for now and thank you for watching.